I'm Maddie, and today I'm finding out about something you might have in your bedroom at home. We put them on our bedside tables and they help us to see in the dark. What do you think it is? That's right, it's a bedside lamp. Lamps come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, don't they? There are short lamps, tall lamps. This one's as tall as me. And some lamps are even unusual shapes. But do you know how a lamp works? Let's find out. How does it work? Lamp. To find out how a lamp works, I come here to a lamp workshop. At this lamp workshop, they make lots of different lamps with lamp shades in every different colour. Red, green, blue and yellow. Looks like a funny hat. And in this workshop, they make a hundred lamps a week. Can you see this part just here? That is the light switch and it turns the lamp on and off like this. On, look at the lights and off again. And we turn it off when we're ready to go to sleep at bedtime. But did you hear the sound the light switch makes? Listen. It's like a loud clicking noise, isn't it? A bit like when you click your fingers. Can you click your fingers? Inside the lamp is a light bulb. And the light bulb gives out light so we can see in the dark. But we mustn't look directly at the light bulb for very long, as it might hurt our eyes. But because the light bulb is so bright, the lamp needs something to help protect our eyes. And do you know what it is? That's right, it's the lamp shade. Can you see how the lamp shade surrounds the light bulb, but it still lets some light through? But how does that happen? Let's take a look with my special camera. This is a microscope camera and it will let us look at the lampshade in close up so we can find out how it works. Now, some of the light escapes from the top and the bottom, but if we look at the lampshade, wow! Can you see how it's made of tiny threads of material that have been woven together? Well, there are also some tiny holes between those threads, aren't there? And that is where the light is coming through the lampshade. Watch what happens when I turn the light off. The light disappears. And if I switch it back on again, there it is. So the light is coming through the lampshade, brightening up the room, but it's protecting our eyes at the same time. How clever is that? But how do all the different parts of a lamp work together to light up a light bulb? To find out, I think we need to take a closer look. Most lamps are powered using electricity. A lamp is switched on and off using a switch. Inside the switch, electricity flows along wires inside the cable. One wire is attached to the light switch at two points, called terminals. Inside the light switch is a small bar of metal called the electrical contact. When the switch is switched on, the electrical contact touches the terminal and electricity from the wire flows into the lamp and the light turns on. Another wire takes electricity away from the light bulb. The flow of electricity around the lamp is called an electric circuit. When the light switch is turned off, the electrical contact goes up. The electric circuit is broken and the light turns off. Wow, that was really interesting, but I think we should see it for ourselves. Now, you must never play with a lamp or a switch, but I've got special permission to see all of the different parts being put together. And this is Billy, and it's Billy's job to put together the lamps here in the workshop. First, Billy takes the base of the lamp. That's the part that helps the whole lamp stand up. And can you see that there's a cable coming out of it? Inside the cable are the wires. And now Billy's fixing together the switch. Both the switch and the wires are wrapped in plastic, so they're safe for us to use. 
Next, the lampshade goes on to the base. And last but not least, that's the light bulb going in. And there you have it, a finished lamp with a switch. That was great. I loved finding out how a lamp works. What was your favourite part? Can you remember the name of the flow of electricity around the lamp? That's right, it's called an electric circuit. Did you hear the sound the light switch made when it was turned on? It was a loud click. And did you see the light shining through the small holes in the lampshade on my special camera? Light bulbs are used in lots of useful things, like my torch. Can you see, it's got lots of little bulbs in it. My torch is powered by a battery, and I'm going to use it to help me see in the dark inside my playhouse. Have you ever made a playhouse? I'm going to make one using two chairs and some sheets. It's my own little playhouse, and I've got my torch to help me see in the dark. You might have made a playhouse inside or outside, or you might have seen a playhouse outside with windows and doors. Do you know how a playhouse is made? Let's find out. How is it made? Playhouse! To find out how a playhouse is made, I've come here to a playhouse factory! Look at all these playhouses! And this one even has a slide! Whee! This is Pete, and it's Pete's job to design the playhouses on a computer. Now, our playhouse has four sides. The back, the front. Look, it's got two windows and one door. And the playhouse also has two side panels. One of them is plain, and the other one has a window. The playhouse has a roof made out of two panels that look like this. And it has one floor panel to stand on. If you look at the screen, can you see that the different shapes are flat? We say that they are two-dimensional or 2D. But watch what happens when Pete puts the two-dimensional flat pieces together. All the pieces join together to make the playhouse. We call this a three-dimensional shape, or 3D, and that's because we can see its height, its width, and its depth. But how do we get from a playhouse design on a computer to one in the garden? Let's find out. The wood is brought into the factory by this special type of forklift truck. and it's smooth and ready to use. But how does it get turned into a playhouse? To build a playhouse, you start with one of these. It's called a jig. This is Anvar, and it's his job to use the jig to build the playhouse. Anvar puts the pieces of cut wood into the jig frame. The piece of wood fits perfectly into the right slit in the jig, just like a jigsaw puzzle. Puts flat planks of wood on top and uses a nail gun to fix the planks to the frame. Now all the planks are in place. Can you see the shape of the panel? What part do you think that is? It's the back of the playhouse. It's called the play gable because it's play. This panel has three holes in it. What are they called? It's two for the windows and one for the 
helps protect the wood from the rain. And here's the final piece. It's one of the sides with a window in. The solution is then left to dry. We've got all the pieces we need to make a playhouse. Let's go. It's Jackson and Chris's job to build the playhouse, test it and make sure all the parts fit together. But it can take quite a long time to build a playhouse, so I'm going to use one of my special cameras. This camera can film something called a time lapse, which means we can film something that takes a long time, but when we watch it back, it will happen really quickly. Okay, the camera is set, recording. Take it away, Chris and Jackson. With the floor panel in place, Jackson and Chris put up the plain gable, the side panel with the window, and the plain side panel, then the front panel. Next, the roof, made of two big pieces of wood. On goes the door. It's nearly finished. And finally, a material to cover the roof and keep it dry, and wood trimming to hold the material in place. And there you have it, one brilliant playhouse. I loved finding out how a playhouse is made. What was your favourite part? Do you remember the name of the tool that Anbar used to make the playhouse? That's right, it's called a jig. Did you hear the sound of planing machine made to make the rough wood smooth? And did you see the time lapse of the playhouse being built on my special camera? The next time you play in a garden playhouse, you'll know how it's made. And when you turn a lamp off or on, you'll know how the circuit works to power the lamp. Right, I'm going to use my lamp to do a bit of reading. I'll see you next time. There are lots of things.